What's up, my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews? It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, but you can call me Auntie. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, Collector, before I get off into this reading, if you guys are interested in purchasing a spiritual bath mix from me, if you're interested in purchasing manifestation candles, truth and clarity candles, inbox me. If you need a spiritual protection package, you can inbox me. If you want to purchase these separate without the spiritual package, the spiritual um, bath mix. It's $20 each. They all have different um, flowers. They have um, lavender, rose petals, chrysanthemums, um, rosemary. They all have different, different um, flowers in them. And fragrances so if you're interested in purchasing one for me for healing and meditation then inbox me at pink scorpion intuitive at gmail.com and if you're interested in um, booking or purchasing a personal reading from me a pre-recorded personal reading the information is in the description box below and I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button for me to help my channel grow, to help my business grow. And I do also have um I also have throw the ass in the tent t-shirts, karmic circus t-shirts and hoodies if you're interested in purchasing one. The information is in the description box below. Okay. So before I get off into this reading, I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. So you will be notified each and every time that Karmic Circus is in your town. Now, please keep in mind that this reading may trigger you. It may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax. And let that shit go. All right? So as I was sitting here, I just started, you know, I'm always, I always just pick the cards up and, and start shuffling. Okay. And the first card that fell out was the upside down cross. So it's somebody around you that's dark, low vibrational energy. And whoever this person is, they don't want you to cut them off because you've gotten some sort of money. Okay. Now, I got the song, Don't Change, playing because you change, Divine Feminine. And this person, they're in despair. See, you could have gotten some money. <clears throat> you could have played, you know, um, you could have gambled and won some money. Played on a slot machine and won some money. You could have went to Las Vegas and won some money. And this is somebody you're in a relationship with right now. They have a dark spirit. Okay. Or they could have changed. This person, they could have a dark spirit. They could have, they, they, I feel like if, if they have the dark spirit, it's because they having money problems right now. They done lost their job and they don't want you to cut them off. But he ain't saying nothing. You see this, this ex right here, he's mad. And when he's in reverse, this could represent him being evil or dark, or it could represent him not saying nothing, him being quiet about something. Okay? He's quiet about this relationship. He ain't saying nothing, but he mad. So if you're with this person and you done got some money and they done lost their job, they mad. Yep. You're still with this person. It's a bittersweet situation, huh? Yeah, it is. It's bittersweet. 
Some of you may be traveling, taking trips and shit, and this person, they done lost their job. Some of you, this person, um, where they go to look for a job, they're not hiring. <laughs> and they having money problems. And see, I feel like this is karma for them. Because they're in a dark energy, or it could be them being in a dark energy because they lost their job. Now, for some of you, divine feminine, this isn't this has happened, this is behind you now. Now, this could go different ways. It could be behind you that they mad because you're not giving them no money. So let's find out what are they mad about, Holy Spirit. What is this karmic masculine mad about when it comes to divine feminine? What is he mad about? Because you're not messaging him back. Now, he could have been doing the same thing to you. If he had money and he had a job and then you didn't have nothing, you know, or you was low on finances and shit, you could have been trying to call him. And he wasn't responding. Now the tables done turned. And you're not you're not messaging them back. And he mad. But he can't be mad at you because he did you the same way, right? Courthouse. For some of you, this can mean some, some papers from the courthouse you haven't heard back from. You haven't got a response. You could have filed some papers from this person. For this person. Or he could be mad because he's waiting for some paperwork from the court and he hasn't heard back from him. Tell me why is this man mad? Oh, okay. So some of y'all, this the main male in reverse. He's mad because he ain't your man no more. He was wearing some sort of false mask. This person could be a Leo. They could be a, a Pisces or a Cancer. They could be an Aquarius energy. Okay. They could have be they. This person may smoke. They may like to party a lot. Somebody could have a tattoo of a star on their face. But this person, they you, they're not your main person, and they mad because they 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 dark. They could have something to do with satanic shit. Now they concerned because they've been wearing a false mask. Basically, they mad because you got some money <laughs> and they lost their job and they didn't apologize for whatever they did. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Why is this person mad? They so mad, whatever they did. They didn't apologize. Somebody could be in the hospital. This could mean somebody could be sick with the illness. This could mean um, somebody could have a cold or flu. Somebody could be in the hospital. Um, it could be um, this person could be sick in their head. They could be emotionally sick, spiritually sick. Take it where it resonates. Okay. Or they could be sick because you got this money. Yeah. They sick and mad because you got this money. <laughs> and now you're trying to, they they, they maybe want to message you and you're not messaging them back. Or, or they may want to apologize to you and you're not messaging, you're not responding back. They can't apologize for something they did. Yeah. Tell me more. This is a wealthy man. This is somebody who has money. He could work with money, deal with a lot of money. Tell me about this wealthy man. So your ex could be wealthy. Um, he could have he could have lost his money, or oh, he, if he worked at a bank, he lost his job. He could have worked at a loan company or something that deals with a lot of money. Yeah, great fortune. Time here. message. These could be divorce papers, DNA papers. These can be a death certificate, a birth certificate. It could represent money.
Yeah, so if this person, if they had a good job and um, they had a great fortune and all of this, they could have been lying. They've been lost that job. Yeah, they've been lost this job. <laughs> they could be lying, you know, saying they got money. And if you got this money, they can make you believe that they got money. You know what I mean? Make you believe that they got money and they really don't. So you'll be giving to them thinking they're going to get back to you, but they ain't got shit. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me more. Here's a house flipped out. You could have lived with this person, Divine Feminine. And they could be in despair. Yeah, if you live in the house with them and you got some money and they don't, they pissed. If you live in the house with them and they messaging you and you ain't messaging them back, they pissed. Okay. But they can't say nothing. Because the tables done turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The tables done turn. <laughs> Since you're not messaging them, they got somebody trying to follow you or spy you to spy on you to, to come tell them what you're doing. See, I feel like you out doing your thing, Divine Feminine. Let's see. <laughs> you out doing you. Y'all, wait a minute. I'm looking for my other deck. Spirit, show me the energy surrounding divine feminine. What is the energy surrounding divine feminine? Show me the energy surrounding divine feminine since she's got this sudden wealth. Show me the energy surrounding divine feminine since she's got this sudden wealth. What is this ex mad about? Hmm, lead in reverse. Listen. Whoever this person is, they mad. They wanted to be the leader. They wanted you to listen to them. Okay, but since you got this money, you lead in your own life. You're not allowing this person to tell you which way to go. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. If this is resonating with you, I'm asking you to hit that thumbs up button. Put it in the comments below. Tell me more what was what is um going on the energy surrounding the body feminine. Yeah, you're not allowing this person to lead your life no more because they're dark. They don't want you to cut them off, okay? This is why you're not messaging them. See, this was somebody who you could have been with every time they call you, you know, you would run and, 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 and rush back to, to answer their call, to answer their call, to respond back to them. But when they had money and they was, you know, out there doing what they do, they wouldn't, they wouldn't respond to you, okay? And you was always listening to this person. Control. You're taking control of your life. You're not letting them lead you no more. You are in control of your own life. You can see right through this person. You see they demons. Mm -hmm. You see through the false mask. That they don't want you to cut them off. You know they don't want you to cut them off. And this is a challenge for them. Now it was a challenge for you. But you, you protected yourself. Okay. So what is the advice Holy Spirit. 
for the divine collective that this is resonating with. What is the what is the advice? No love. This isn't going to be an equal give and take relationship. There's not going to be no love. Okay. Or this could represent don't show no love to this person. It don't you can love them from a distance. That don't mean that you got to be with. Them. Okay. What else Holy Spirit? deserve reward in reverse. See, when you was with this person, they should have had you up on a pedestal, but they didn't. They didn't want you to stand out. Okay? Because this person is dark. No more going with the flow. Okay, no more going with the flow with this person. You didn't cry it enough. No more tears. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? You went along with this person. You thinking about this. You thinking about how dark they is. Heart chakra. Balanced your heart out. If you haven't, get yourself a green adventuring. To balance your heart chakra. For growth and stability. You're already growing and stable. Since you got this money, you're stable. And your ex is mad, but he can't say nothing. Okay. And whoever he got spying on you, what is this person coming back telling this person that's making them mad? What are they telling this person about the collective that got this ex mad? What are they telling? Like you're not waiting for them when it comes to love. They're telling this person to rest and reconsider. Oh, this person, whoever they got watching you is, is, I guess is making this, this person feel like you're not doing good. Now this, the roles can be reversed since this person, they, if they have somebody watching you or following you or stalking you, they could be telling this person that you're doing good. And then basically there's no chance for love between you and them. Or, or you broke their heart. They broke your heart. This person is sad. They want to offer you something. They want you to teach them. About their third eye. And I don't know who that's for. But just remember when you was with this person. You couldn't nurture yourself. You weren't growing. You didn't love yourself. If this was a rich motherfucker or somebody that got money, they was possibly stingy with you. And now the Most High has blessed you with your own financial blessing. And you don't need them no more. And now they mad and they don't want you to cut them off. The spirit is saying, do not go with the flow. This relationship is une unequal give and take. So I'm going to end it right there. If this reading resonated with you, then go on ahead, subscribe to my channel, and hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.